Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about the respiratory system, how exchange of gases take place in cough. Let us now see how respiration happens in case of cockroach. Respiratory system here consists of a network of trachea. Now you all are aware of the term trachea because it is present in human beings as well. So what are trachea? Trachea are tube-like structures as you can see here. Now there are some small holes present on the lateral surface of the body which are known as spiracles. So here you can see the network of trachea. See one tube like structure and then you have different tubes like this. So this entire arrangement is the network of trachea. Other than these also there are small holes which are present on the side surface of the body. So these holes, opening of the holes is regulated by muscular sphincters. So when the sphincters want, the holes will be open so that exchange of gases can take place. When the sphincters close, the holes will be closed so that no exchange take place. Trachea, they are tube-like structures that open through spiracles, carry oxygen from air to other body parts. As I said, they are tube-like structure, they help in carrying oxygen. So it is some, somewhat like this. Let us suppose if this is a sphincter, this is the hole which is spherical. This is your trachea, the tube-like structure. And then this trachea will branch out to form tracheoles. So this is trachea. These are tracheoles. And what is this hole? This hole is nothing but spherical. And this is the muscular sphincter. So this is how the structure is. Tracheoles, trachea subdivides into thinner tube-like tracheoles. Gaseous exchange take place at tracheoles by diffusion. Now what happens? Gas from outside is enters inside through spiracle and then it goes through the trachea and then reaches the tracheoles. These tracheoles are in direct contact with the cells of the body. So the ex actual exchange of gases will take place between tracheoles and the body part and this will happen by the process of diffusion. So this is how the respiration takes place in cockroach. Let us now look at the nervous system. So now that we know how digestion happens, how blood circulation happens and how respiration happens, we should also know how the coordination between the nerves take place in case of cockroach. So cockroach, they have a ladder-like nervous system. So as you can see in this picture, you feel as if it is a ladder. You have one step of the ladder, each one by one. So they have paired ventral nerve cords running through all the segments. So here you can see these red colored nerve cords. This is one pair and this is another pair. So paired ventral nerve cords will run throughout the body. Paired ganglia is formed in each segment. So in each segment you have a paired ganglia. Brains are formed by fusion of the ganglia. So brains are formed again. As I said, the ganglia fuse together to form brain. Now what are the different brains which are formed or, or what are the different sections of the ganglia? So the first one is supraesophageal ganglia. Supraesophageal. That means supra means above. So this is nothing but the brain. This is what is considered as the brain. So this portion is the supraesophageal ganglia. So this brain forms the central nervous system. The brain supply nerves to antenna and the compound eyes. So these are the compound eyes and these are the antennas. So this brain will supply nerves to these two parts of the body. So that is supraesophageal ganglia. Next is subesophageal ganglia. So subesophageal is below the esophageal region. So that is subesophageal ganglia. Next you have the thoracic ganglia which are formed in the thoracic region. Next is the abdominal ganglia. So in the abdominal region. So here you have 
the abdominal ganglia and then the lowermost portion you have the terminal abdominal ganglia here you have the thoracic ganglia here you will have the supraesophageal ganglia right so based on where the ganglia are located they are named accordingly supra or subesophageal thoracic abdominal or terminal abdominal so basically what we see the head region head region will have these two supraesophageal and subesophageal so this is present in the head region when i talk about the thoracic ganglia so there you will actually see three ganglia in the thorax region talking about abdominal ganglia there are five abdominal ganglia and one terminal abdominal ganglia so here just one a ganglia and here five so that is how the ganglia are present throughout the body of the cockroach now these ganglia are joined by paired longitudinal connectives on the ventral side so if you look it from the ventral end towards the belly end you will see that these ganglia are connected to each other by longitudinal structures which are called connectives now most part of the nervous system is well visible from the ventral side and not from the dorsal side this i have told before also whenever you talk about the dorsal side of cockroach you will mostly see the digestive tract when you talk about the ventral side you will see the nerve cords that is you will see the nervous system so now let us talk about the sensory organs when i talk about nervous system it becomes very important to talk about sensory organs because they can actually feel the external stimulus so here special specialized sensory organs or receptors are well present so they are present photoreceptors that is those organs which can feel the presence of light so for that they have the compound eyes this is the a pair of compound eyes they are composed of omatidia omatidia are basically the photoreceptor units they have high sensitivity however less resolution vision they have nocturnal vision that is they can see at night so that is due to the property of the omatidia olfactory receptors that is the receptors of smell how can they smell things with the help of antenna and palps taste receptors is present in the maxilla and labial palps we spoke about the different mouth parts right the maxilla the labium so there the taste receptors are present thigmo receptors that is receptors to touch so how can they feel touch their entire body antenna legs that is why even if you touch the antenna of the cockroach you will see that it will reciprocate it could feel that touch so now we'll talk about the excretory system that is how do cockroach get rid of the waste products present in its body so after excretory system we'll discuss the last topic that is the reproductive system now let us see how excretion happens in cockroach they have specialized excretory structures called malphigian tubules which are present so these are the specialized excretory structures which are present in cockroach now while we were talking about the digestive system i told you where these malphigian tubules are present they are present at the junction of the mid gut and hind gut so this is your mid gut this is your hind gut so this is the junction and these are the malphigian tubules so these are your malphigian tubules so they are filament like structures which are present in numbers of almost around 100 to 150 filaments being present here so what do they do they try to extract all the waste products or all the excretory products from the hemocele that is their job so we can see that malphigian tubules in cockroach are analogous to kidneys in human beings kidneys also form the main excretory organs in human beings so they remove waste products from hemolymph 
converts waste into uric acid and excrete through the hind gut so it will take what it will it do it will take up the waste products from the hemocele and then it will convert it into uric acid and then it will pass this uric acid to the hind gut so in hind gut it will pass through ileum colon rectum and finally it will be excreted out through the anus it is termed as uricotelic why is it, why is cockroach called uricotelic because they produce they because they can convert the waste products into uric acid so because of that it is called uricotelic now they also have uricose glands which can synthesize uric acid present near the mushroom gland in the male reproductive system now other than the malphigian tubules which are highly specialized excretory organs cockroach can also excrete through other organs like the nephrocytes these are present on the lateral wall of heart store and help excreting nitrogenous wastes so where are they present in the heart so these are also other excretory structures uricose glands as i said they are they help to synthesize uric acid they are present in the male reproductive system cuticle that is the waxy outermost layer so through the cuticle also some of the waste products are thrown out so these are other excretory structures which are also present in cockroach so all these structures together help a cockroach to get rid of all the waste materials from its body fat bodies also help in excretion thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again